Hello, fellow YouTubers, and welcome back to the final episode of Batman Arkham Asylum. On the last episode, we finished off the Collectathon by doing all of the Riddler challenges located on Arkham North. We actually found enough Riddler, challenge, Riddler stuff and talked with Riddler long enough so that we actually found out where he was located at and called the police and had him arrested. We also found clues about the Chronicles of Arkham and the supposed person that's actually been leaving us these clues. And it turns out it was Warden Sharp. And so when we went back to go check up on him, just to go see if it was actually him, uh, he wasn't there and left us another message saying that we need to continue on his work of being a psychopathic murderer. I mean, he's not that far. He's not that different from Joker. He thinks he's doing good in the world. Oh, granted, Joker doesn't think he's doing good in the world at all. But, yeah, we have all the Riddler challenges are done, all 240 of them. All of the bios have been filled. All of the patient interview tapes have been gathered. We're at max level. There's nothing else for us to get except for the end of the game. So, all I have to do is walk through these doors and... Now, if I wanted to, I could knock out all these guys if, if I wanted to, just like what I did with the four guys that were originally standing outside the door. Not to mention that technically this door was only added by these characters. I mean, there's the original entrance to the visitor center. I'm not going to do any of this because I have full health right now, and I don't gain experience anyway anymore, so it would be completely pointless for me to start any fights right now and lose health. So... Batman's gonna run away from this fight. Here's the visitor room. We have not been inside the visitor room at all yet, which is unfortunate because I kind of wanted to show this off, but I forgot about it. But whenever we're in the visitor room, and this is every single time you could have came here before, you're always gonna be in first person mode. You can zoom out of it, you can zoom in, but we have this right here. And usually, whenever you went up to this, You'd get some messages from the from the Joker on that screen, just like giving us some like, oh, you're here already. It's not time yet. Well, now it's time, so he's gonna give us another message. Also, I just kind of noticed this. Does that say Monty was here? Oh, I'm getting I'm getting red versus blue feelings now. Ah. Oh. Are you excited, Bats? I mean, we've been building up to this point all night. Don't tell me you've not been looking forward to it. I know I have. Surprise! <laughs> Everyone always said I should be in television. You don't want to miss this, really. It'll be a blast. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four. Uh, so no matter how far back you would have gotten, you would you would always be affected by this. Like you could be all the way back here, and you'd still get hit, and it'd drag you literally right here, like what happened with us. So now we can go past this thing. Get the stupid, stupid TV, stupid TV screen. And then continue on past here. Hello. Didn't you stop Batman? Uh, oh. Me? It was your plan, you goofy clown. <laughs> oh. ah, I'm sending you back to the ventriloquist where you belong. <laughs> You had to spoil everything, didn't you? Beating up Bane, feeding Scarecrow to Croc, 
slapping around Harley, my hobby, by the way, and ruining all my lovely venom plants. It's over, Joker. Over? Why, my dear delusional Dark Knight, it hasn't even begun. <laughs> Like I said, we weren't gonna get out of this without another fight. Whoop! And I already got hit! No! I forgot how to fight! It's been so long! How does one fight? Oh, let's take advantage of this. Oh, hit him, and he's gonna. Oop, other guy is doing the same thing now. Yeah, this is just a typical. This is like the fight we had in. Whoa, 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 whoa! This is like the fight we had in the laboratory, which I think was the last actual fight we had with characters other than other than I think uh Harley fight yeah I forgot about that one not Harley fight Quinn fight no that's the same person uh Ivy fight oh god I'm doing terrible take that oh he's gonna run into that guy Ooh, that guy did not deserve that other guy running oh no Batman jumped the wrong way get me out of here oh wow I've already lost all of my extra health take that jump Please tell me that at least knocks him down all the way. Or almost. Punch him a little bit. There, now I can get on top of him. So he's so far away. Can I actually do a, a takedown on one of the Titans? I don't think I can. Take this. We're gonna hop off of you and make our way over here. Whoa! Oh, I got a critical strike, that's nice. Give me up to 40! That's one achievement to get a combo of 40. I'm only at 19 right now. Whoop. No, I'm not getting to 40. I screwed up. I started punching the air. Whoop. Run. All right. Just throwing more people in. Technically, we don't even need to worry about these other people. We only need to worry about the Titans. Whoop. Dodge that attack. Whoop. Dodge that attack. And they're both just standing there waiting for their chance. Take that. I hit the other Titan. He wasn't attacking me. Now he is. Jump out of the way! There, I had him, I had him hit the Titan. No, jump on the Titan! Jump on the Titan! There we go. Oh, take that. Now we can jump on that other Titan. How is that guy still unconscious? We've been pushing him around like this. He should be knocked out at least. All right, give me right here. Oh, take that, Titan! Oh, I punched the air again. I screwed up. Whoop! Oop, take that. Oh, at least he ran into the other Titan while running. Take some down. Oh, I ran into that punch! There, we can at least do that and take him down a little bit. Oh, oh that, guy got, that guy got knocked right in the jaw. He is down for the count. Come on, friends. I don't think there's going to be any more. That guy's still alive. Oh, you're down. Down for good. Just you and me, buddy. Ooh, you're going to run to the very sharp spot. The, the Game of Thrones that Joker set up here. I'm not hurting you anymore. I'm not hurting you anymore. At least he knocked out that guy. You only need a couple more hits left. There we go. Finish this guy. And I don't think we need to finish off that last guy. But we'll just finish him off anyway. Ha-ha! <laughs> there we go. Nicely done, Bats. You deserve a prize. Your old pal, Commissioner Gordon. Uh. Say, he looks all run down. Let's pep him up. No! Trying to resist the change. That's not fair. <laughs> Come on, get in. <laughs> so, you want to play hardball bats, do you? Your call. <laughs> pickle, pickle. Oh. oh, 
you're ruining my big night! Months of planning down the crapper! I just wanted to bring down your grim facade and for once let you see the world as I see it, giggling in a corner and bleeding. But you denied me even that. I have nothing to live for. So <laughs> Spoil my fun, and for that, I'll paint Arkham with your blood. Let's get ready to tango! Oh my god, the Joker's giant! Let his claws! No! 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 So we can't hurt him! There's no way for us to hurt him while he's in the state. But he's gonna give up. <laughs> No, you haven't. You didn't even hit me. Whatever. Also, be careful of the walls. They are electrified, so you will get hurt if you uh, hit the walls. Also, he's throwing things in. They'll sometimes have items for the people to pick up, which will, won't help you. It'll help them. I'm just trying to take... Oh, no! No, I had a combo going. Also, be very careful of those things that he just threw out. That Joker teeth that he just threw out because it gets too close and it'll explode! Take this. I, what I'm waiting for is him to turn around. Now he's turned around. This is the perfect time. We can use our ultra back claw at him and pull him down. Pull him down. And that is how we hurt. That is how we hurt the Joker, or Titan Joker. Whoa! Move, Batman, move! Joker Titan only takes three hits. He's a pushover compared to the other ones. I come back to fighting. We need to be careful. They're starting to add. Starting to add other people for us. Oh! No! Get out of the wall! Watch out! They got knife people now. Luckily, I just use a takedown. That'll take care of him. Jump out of the way! 
<laughs> At least I took care of the knife guy. Take that knife guy. No, 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 no. Darn it. Knife guy's back up. Oh, now he's not. No, I pressed dodge. Oop. I jumped the wrong way. Get me over here. Nope. Nope. Crap, 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 crap. I think there's... Dang it. No, I wasted it. I wasted all my time. And he threw in more people. Get out of the way. There, at least I knocked the... At least I knocked the knife guy in it. No, take down. Crap! The takedown only requires uh, combo five for it to actually go. And then I can immediately take down one person if I so wish. Like that. I want to take down Knife Guy because he's so annoying. Ooh, I can even cause those to destroy. How have I never done that before? Alright, now all the guys are down. Fire the back claw. Uh, pressing A there instead of the trigger. Not if I knock you out first. That's two of three. Oh, look at that guy right behind Gordon still just standing there doing nothing. Please give me some health back. It did. Whoa. Okay, I jumped into that attack. I deserved it. Yeah, Joker's kind of stupid. He's doing the standard. I'm gonna do the same, the same strategy over and over, not fix it, and hope that you don't notice. Well, not not really don't notice, because clearly we're noticing it. But he's not even trying to do anything. Uh oh! No, 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 no! No, I don't want him to grab the stun sticks. Don't grab the stun sticks or guns. Don't grab guns either. Ooh, did I just break that guy's arm? Take that. Another takedown. Whoa. Take that explosion. No, 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 no. Get him. He <laughs> picked up a gun. That was too close. Jump! <laughs> I didn't even see that. Nope. Chopper's coming back. Take that. Come on, I gotta get rid of these guys. There we go. Last attack. Oh, you're still alive. Oh, Batman's not, uh, Joker's not even looking the wrong way. This will be it. This will be it. Thank God there's no one here to take me down now. CPD finally has control of the asylum. Doctors are treating the injured, but it looks like it'll take some time. All super criminals are back in custody. <laughs> Quite a mess in there. And the venom enhanced inmates are returning to normal. Though for some, the process can be quite painful. Dad, how are you doing? I'll survive. See you tonight, Barbara. Shame about your car. Can I give you a ride? Thanks, Jim, but I have one on the way. Get some rest. You deserve it. Stay safe, Jim.
And so ends Batman Arkham Asylum. Woo, that was fun. I like Batman. I like Batman Arkham Asylum. It's very fun. We did beat it. Ending's kind of meh compared with the rest of the game, but I mean, it wasn't really, it was supposed to lead into that giant battle. Joker's plan didn't really work out that well. I think Batman kind of ruined it a little early on by not dying. But yeah, Titan Joker was a joke. <laughs> Only three hits. He didn't really fight us. He let other people fight us. He could have easily decimated us if he wanted to fight. And then he turned his back on us three times. Didn't get the first time that. Don't turn your back on Batman. But that that explosive gel punch is certainly awesome. Kind of ruined his uh, right gauntlet. But like I said, uh, Two-Face is now robbing the second national bank. So that's where Batman's headed right now. Like I said, it's... Uh, just another day in the life of Batman. Although, when you think about it, or at least when you start playing these other games, all these giant incidents around the Arkham, like around the Arkham games, seem to be like the the biggest moments in his life. Like all the all the other things are incredibly tiny. Mostly because you know all four points are supposed to link to one another. Not all, not every day that you have four major moments in your life link it together. Not to mention that. The time span between Arkham Asylum and Arkham Knight is like a year and a half, 18 months. No, like 20, like 22 months. Because, because let's see, Arkham City takes place. Well, we'll get into that a little bit more. <laughs> All I know is that it takes place about a year after this. Arkham Knight takes place about nine months after that, nine, 10 months after that. And Arkham, Arkham Origins is the outlier. That takes place five years before this game. Which is why I said this is probably Batman's seventh year as Batman. Which means City is his eighth. And you could probably say that Arkham Knight is his ninth. It really depends on when he started. It doesn't say when he started. At least they don't give a date. Oh, this is fun. Arkham City is next. I can at least take Arkham Asylum out of my Xbox now. <laughs> Square Enix. Is this the only one that was actually developed by Square Enix? I don't have the game next to me. I can't check the other boxes. Who was that supposed to be? Is that supposed to be the Scarecrow? Also, you might notice we're getting a lot of duplicate images here. They really didn't... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> they didn't. They didn't have a lot of different images that they could have used. Like that's the third time we've seen Harley like that. Is she in handcuffs? Is this like supposed to be post story? I think this is the third time seeing that picture too. Oh, uh, Batman. Oh, Joker. <laughs> Joker. Joker had like a lot of his teeth missing, which means that I'm fairly confident that most of his teeth are fake at this point. Or, surprisingly, there is baby teeth and they grow back. I highly doubt that, though. I would be surprised if many of the Batman's villains have fake teeth. I have fake teeth. <laughs> I have... I, well, my front two teeth are half fake. Because I, uh... Because I hit the bottom of a swimming pool and cracked them open. <laughs> I wish I could take that back. That was a fun day in high school. Uh, but there's, yep, there is Scarecrow. We'll be seeing more of him later. I mean, it's no spoiler that he's the main villain of Arkham Knight. <laughs> they use that, That's what they were basically using all the promotional stuff for. He is the main villain in Arkham Knight. And Joker is back in Arkham City. Oh, technically... Yeah, I think Joker might be considered one of the main bad guys in Arkham City. I don't remember any of the any of the advertisements for Arkham Knight, so I'm not exactly one to say. I do remember one, and that had that had Deathstroke in it. That's all I'm gonna say about Arkham Origins. We'll be getting into that game. Oh, I don't even know. I mean, it took us 36 episodes to get through Batman Arkham Asylum, so that's 18 weeks. <laughs> that's a uh, a little over. Four and a half months we've been playing this game. 
if I had to guess how long it takes City to do, probably another 36, maybe even in the 40s somewhere. It's a little longer. A lot more things to collect. A lot harder puzzles to do. A lot more things to do. 40s, maybe even 50s. So that place us around, let's see, it's August right now. Is it still August? It is not, it is September. I'm recording this in August. I don't know when this is gonna come out. This might come out, let's see. Look at it. This is coming out on September 3rd. <laughs> so if I had to go off of that, October, November, December, might be around February when we finish City. February, March, somewhere around there. And then we'll get to Origins. That'll take us into probably July, maybe August, maybe next year. We'll be finishing up Origins and then we'll be playing Ocarim Knight. Which will, at that point, if I don't play anything else, at least according to my schedule, will become the most recent game on my channel. Oh, we're already at the special thanks. Because I mean, currently, what's my what's the most recent game I played on my channel? I think it would. I think well, technically, it'd be Wind Waker HD that came out in what 2013. Mass Effect 3 would certainly be up there. I think the Xbox 360 version of Banjo Tooie and Banjo Kazooie would be up there. Oh, and um, and and. Uh, Mass Effect 2 was 2010. What's the oldest game I've played? It might go to Crash Bandicoot 2 at this moment. Or, no, Super Mario, si Super Mario 64, which I, I played for Versus. That that one is uh, 96. Crash Bandicoot 2 is 97, so I guess that one. Unless I did play an older No, I haven't. <laughs> I'm trying to go down my list, but yeah, our, uh, Crash Bandicoot 2 is my oldest game. I have a lot of PlayStation games and a lot of GameCube games and a lot of Xbox 360 games to play. But we'll be playing more of those on uh, Watch Me Fail and future seasons of Legacy. I still don't know what I'm doing for future seasons of Legacy, at least after Batman. The thing might be, I might, after Batman, at least after Arkham Knight, I might do Mass Effect Andromeda. Since that was finally announced in, at E3 this year, the fourth part of Mass Effect, I, I don't think it's going to be carrying over anything to Mass Effect from Mass Effect 3 unless they do the backwards compatibility with all the Mass Effects with, uh, you know, the Xbox 360 backwards compatibility. I don't think it'll be able to carry over like that, though, unless it somehow is, in which case that'd be awesome. Unless they just don't choose to do any previous choices from the past, which might kind of suck. But I think that's what I'm going to be doing with Legacy. Like, say say another Batman Arkham game is announced. I mean, they did say that Arkham Knight was the last one they were going to make. From Rocksteady, technically Warner Brothers Interactive can make another Arkham, Knight, Arkham game if they so wish, like what they did with Arkham Origins. But if they ever did make another Batman game, Batman Arkham game at least, I might play that one. Not Maybe not as soon as it comes out, but whenever I get the next opening. Like, like say... Say, well, let's see. Arkham Knight will probably be, be played around this time next year. And if that carries over to, like, the Christmas season, which I think it will, then uh, Mass Effect Andromeda should be coming out next year. At least that's what they said, winter 2016. That'll be perfect then. As soon as Arkham Knight's done, I can play Mass Effect Andromeda. Very recent after release, which is going to suck. <laughs> it's gonna suck because everything's gonna be completely filled at least YouTube wise just everything the floodgates are gonna open with that game looks like right now they're listing the casts for various places around the world they just did the Italian one I think they're next gonna be doing the Spanish translation Miss Luke Skywalker as the Joker <laughs> oh that <laughs> Star Wars episode 7 comes out in four months That'll be that'll be weird to see. I kind of I kind of regret regret missing Star Wars Episode One when it was in 3D. Not because, not because it was in uh, 
Not because it was in 3D, or because of Star Wars Episode One, but because it's Star Wars in general. I don't... I mean, I got to see... I got to see Episode Three in theaters. And I distinctly remember that, because that was the first movie I went to by myself. Oh, the credits are just about wrapping up. But I don't really remember any of the other Star Wars. It'd be nice to see Star Wars on the big screen again, with people surrounding you. That's why I like reaction videos. And there's a little teaser for things to come, although it didn't really come over. So as you can see, at the bottom, we have 84% of the game completed. All Riddlers, all Riddles done, all upgrades done, all character bios done. None of the challenges. Who cares? <laughs> Let's take a look at the trophies, though. These are, these are kind of cool. They're just like very, yeah, Titan Power Joker. These are just like very high def models. Like what the character models that they used for the game. There's Batman. Here's the armored one that we just unlocked for beating the game. So this technically we could start using this one, I think, for challenge maps. You can pan, you can zoom in if you wish. Look at that bat symbol. Doesn't look anything like the armored bat suit he wears in later games. Oh, we could get a look at Scarecrow. Just how creepy he looks. Look at his face. Can you even see his eyes? I don't think you can. Anyway, that's going to wrap it up for Batman Arkham Asylum. No, no, back up. There we go. Let's take a look at our... Let's take a look. So this is the first game we did that we played solely on a new on a new profile just so we could show all the unlocks of achievements, which I wish I could have done. Well, actually, I did do with both... both uh, with Banjo-Tooie because that was a blind run. So, so far, both Xbox 360 games I've played have had the achievement pop-ups. I did miss a couple because of re-recording issues. Hopefully, hopefully nothing bad happens with these last couple episodes I recorded. Otherwise, that would really suck. We'd miss every, we'd miss all of them. But yeah, all the, all the things we still have left are like, Perfect Night, I've never gotten that. Not even on my own profile. Time to break up this party. Oh, no! Oh, we could have gotten that had we simply, you know, so I had to punch people in the face at the end. Can I still get this? Is there still a way I can get this? Nah, not right now. That episode's been going on for 33 minutes. So, on the next episode of Legacy, we're going to be playing Batman Arkham Knight. Oh, no. <laughs> Whoa, our Arkham City. I have Arkham Knight on the brain because it's the most recent release. So, until next time, hopefully you enjoy. Hopefully you enjoy. <laughs>